Hey, what's going on guys? Eagle Aquatics back here coming at you with another care video. This time not on a fish, but on a coral. I'm going to do corals and fish not for now on. Um, so yeah, uh, this episode is about the Welso Folded Brain Coral. Now, um, this is one of my personal favorite corals ever. Um, probably my top two favorite corals. It's it's great. It's awesome. I mean, if you're looking for a, a awesome centerpiece that is just wacky and awesome with a buttload of color, this is your coral, honestly. Um, these guys, place them on the bottom of the tank. Um, in the sand bed, they don't do too good on rocks. Uh, so I've heard. I haven't tried it. Uh, this guy's the centerpiece of my tank, um, so I, I built my rock structure around this guy, uh, just because the size, it's, uh, the size on these guys is great, I mean, it, they, they do get pretty big, um, so watch out for that when you're like in a super nano tank, um, I would say minimum tank size, probably, eh, depending on how much room you leave for it, um, it's probably about like, 20 gallons because so it needs some room um, as long as you give him the room to grow I mean he won't disappoint you this guy is a little bit more expensive mine was sixty dollars at the time now it's probably worth around eighty or ninety um, I just another reason I love these corals just because they're like texture I mean it's crazy it looks like a brain literally hence the name it's crazy um, the color form on these guys is great. I have the metallic. Mine's metallic green with some purple inside of it. Uh, you can get these guys in so many different colors. There's reds. There's one called a rainbow. I mean, that's got to be awesome. Uh, rainbow. I'd imagine purple. Just straight green. There's metallic, uh, red, green, the blue. I mean, there's just so many coral, different colors. Uh, no two of these corals are the same. That's what I like. Um, they're always going to be different. And uh, if you're looking for a coral to take up a dead space in the sand bed, this is, this is it. Um, these guys uh, keep their distance away from other more aggressive corals like this guy because it'll sting them and this guy doesn't really have much defense. Um, yeah, uh, keep your calcium good for these guys because they will they'll use they'll use it up and they grow pretty they grow uh, I'd say they grow moderately fast um, yeah I've had mine for a while it's it's grown a a decent amount uh, but not as much as some of my other corals um, temperature around 78 77 78 79 mine's at 80 I mean um, salt 2325 point 2325 pH 8.1 8.4 mine's perfect 8.1 um lighting this guy i would say my i have the biocube stock lighting so it's like 72 watts but i'd say you could get around with a moderate led fluorescence should do good um you could feed this guy brine shrimp um, I've seen, I've heard people feed them krill. I don't know about that. But they do have pretty good tentacle size, so they extend them at night, so that's cool. Um, and uh, these cores are really easy to care for. I mean, um, you don't really have to do much. Just provide them with a lot of light and room. That's that's it. Uh, it and it'll reward you. I mean, look at mine. It's it's bigger than my fist. Really, comparison. My maroon clown does like to swim around sometimes inside of it. That's cool. So um, it's uh, just an awesome coral. I mean, can't say more about it. It's just awesome. Um, yeah, so cool. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all. I think it wraps it up. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And see you later.